What's up YouTube? Today we're going to make solid engine mounts. Uh, basic idea behind this, let's see if I can do this. Basic idea behind this is I took the engine mount and I took a piece of metal, cut a hole in it, pushed it on there, and welded it shut. Uh, what this will do is it will stop the engine from having any kind of movement at all. And the reason I did this is because one, I didn't want to buy new engine mounts when I had a whole bunch of metal and a welder sitting around. And two, just because I could. Um, it's gonna stop any movement from the engine and you're gonna feel it a little bit more in the car as far as feeling the engine, but it's gonna have no movement and will never go bad. And that's mostly the only reasons I wanted to do this. All right, so I tried two different methods. One, this is really thick metal. It was actually thicker than the engine mount itself, but I just took it, drilled a really big hole in it, pushed it on there, welded it. The other method I took, two little bit thinner plates of metal cut it in half, use a bench grinder to do half of a circle on each side, then push them together and weld it in the center, and then weld it together. This side's a little bit easier to do than this. Um, there's just a little bit more time consuming. It took a lot of drill bits to go through it. That didn't help it being a lot thicker. So I learned my lesson, tried it this way. It took like half the time. Still works just the same. And there's about four engine mounts I gotta do. This is just the first one. So we're gonna do step by step on how to do the next one. Couple. Okay, so some of the parts you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need an angle grinder or a bench grinder with cutting or grinding blades with them. Um, if you're gonna use the just one solid piece method, you'll need several drill bits, probably step drill bits, a drill obviously, and a welder for obvious reasons. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna show you why I like the multi-piece method. Uh, this is one me and my girlfriend were welding together. As you can see, one piece is kind of a triangle shape, the other one's half round. These two are kind of round. These are actually scrap pieces of metal in which I just kind of put together, welded, and it's just as solid as the other one that has just a solid plate. So first step we need to do is get some metal and cut it to shape and then we'll weld it on. Okay, so we got our first engine mount here. Uh, this one, as you can see, there's a bolt in there because it's actually so broken that the middle piece actually started slashing down so I put a bolt in there just for now to kind of keep it up. We'll put the plate over it and then tack it on. I already had some circle pieces cut. We're just going to use the full piece method this time. I still need to cut the center pieces with a step drill bit. I got this shape by using the engine mount and I had an old cutting disc that was just laying around. I fit it over, it turned out to be perfect shape all the way around it. So I just went ahead and traced that piece over onto sheet metal, cut out a circle, grinded it down. Now I'm going to cut out the center hole, push it on there, and we'll weld it all together. So, on one side, it seems to have a lot less rubber than the other side, so this thing doesn't fit 100%, so I think what I'll do is I'll kind of trim up some of this rubber right here, and that will get the metal to fit just a little bit better.
here's the engine mount after a rough cleanup, after it's been fully welded. One thing I like about this method, as opposed to the other one, is that this one looks a little bit more clean because you don't have the welds running down the center here. But the only difficult part about this is drilling out the center hole with the step drill bit. As you saw, I may have had some issues there. I don't know if my drill bits are just kind of dull or, or what, but there's still some grinding I need to do. As you can see, it kind of overlaps the little bolt hole. So I have to grind that down flush. And then this area right here is just a little bit too long, so I'm gonna grind that down as well. And then once they're all done, I'm gonna go ahead and paint them. So let's get to the next one. All right, so the next method I uh, found I'm using just pieces of scrap metal, even of various different sizes. You can kind of overlay them where the bolt holes will go and then kind of trace out where you'll need to cut half, half circle and then trace out the excess you'll need to trim off to kind of complete the overall circle and then you'll weld over it. Um, to give you kind of representation, here's the one that's complete. As you can see, there's a line straight through where the pieces meet and then a kind of half circle and the pieces are all kind of jagged because I use just random pieces lying around. Um, it's a really good method, especially if you don't have a step drill bit. This is one of the easiest ways to do this. So let's get to it.
So the welding's complete. I went ahead and grinded it down, as you can see, making it nice and shiny. Uh, this is the one with the one-piece method, and this is the two-piece weld and center method. Um, with the, this, both methods really, around the circles piece where the bolt goes through, you want to weld. You want to grind down the weld. That way, it sits flush, kind of like it's supposed to. And on this one, same thing with the these side welds as well. Just kind of grind it down a little bit. Other than that, it's up to you how much you want to grind and then repaint to make it pretty looking. I'm painting mine red. Can't really move because the charge is connected. The way down there, painting it red just because I got some red caliper paint. And it just, I think it looks a little better red. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do this step by step. Like I said, really simple. Do a test fit before you go and put everything back in the engine. I went ahead and test fit it all and they all work great. Um, this over here is my sound system. It's a computer power supply attached to a car amplifier attached to house speakers, which I use my computer to make sound. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how that's made, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. I got way more stuff going on the Corolla. I got stuff going on the 240. And just stick around. Like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. All right, see you guys later.